Cisco Firepower Threat Defense, 630, multi-instance. We're gonna do some validation. So let's do a quick review. This is the fourth video in the series of four. So we got inside zone hitting FTD A, and you have inside zone B that hits FTD B, right? Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some testing outside of multi-instance, really more around connectivity testing than anything. And first thing is, is that we're gonna ping uh, both of those inside networks, make sure that we can ping them. Um, so uh, 198.19.10.36 is uh, the left side, if I have that correct, and then uh, 20.36 is the right side. And we can see, obviously, the first one was successful. We'll change that to 20, and we'll give that a try. And right off the hop, I can see it's 192. We got to change that to 198. And we're good to go. All right, so now we'll, we'll connect to workstation uh, in A. So this is inside zone A. And we're running a couple scripts here. And this script is uh, uh, the packet length's at about 35,000. Uh, bytes. So um, we're just trying to increase a little bit of load. You probably run this a little bit more. Uh, I just want to give you the an idea that um, you could do some analysis to see, you know, how much resources is used uh, versus the other uh, instance, right? For example. Um, so, anyways, we got this good. It's running. We're golden. Um, again, this is also testing connectivity. And now we'll go to workstation three, which is in uh, uh, zone B, inside zone B, and we'll uh, we'll just ping as well. And this time we're not actually gonna set the length uh, to a large size like we did before here at 64 bytes. Okay, so we're back on the workstation that we've been using uh, to manage the device as well. And from here, what we'll probably uh, want to do uh, now is, is connect to um, each one of the instances and run a few commands. The first thing that we want to do, though, before we SSH in is just check to make sure we've got traffic flowing. We can do that from the command line as well. But you can see here, Context Explorer using FMC. Now we're starting to see traffic come in. Okay, that's good. Um, and then over time, obviously, that graph will fill out and, you you know, if you have policies with advanced inspection, you know, the, the graph will start to light up quite a bit. And, and here we're also seeing connection events. So we can see the 198.19.20.36 and 198.19.10.36. So we've got connection events. We see traffic's uh, uh, in the context explorer. Um, so we're good. We know traffic is flowing. Now let's do the SSH into the box. All right, so we've logged in. So we'll do the same on the other side. So that's A, we'll want to also open up a command prompt for, uh, or an SSH uh, connection to uh, instance B. Remember, uh, those that may have, may have started with this, this is multi-instance deployment. So this is two multi-instance uh, or virtual firewalls that have been installed on a single physical hardware. And it's a little bit different than other, you know, uh, traditional methods of virtual firewalling on the same hardware platform, such as multi-context or other vendors call it virtual firewalling. This is where you actually assign uh, resources to the instance and they're completely independent, right? And they own the hardware that they're assigned to. Uh, that allows you to upgrade them, uh, have run different codes, reboot them without having to impact anybody else. So we've done show core, uh, uh, or show CPU core all, and you can see the differences between the two platforms. Not a whole lot, but you can see uh, the slight differences, especially if there was uh, major differences. Uh, we are also running show resource usage, and again, it shows connections, hosts, connection rate, inspection rate, and routes, right? 
Um, again, depending on the use of the platform, uh, one might be running at high utilization. You might have one, one running at very low utilization. So here we're gonna do show ASP inspect um, uh, for snort and we're, we're gonna run that on both. And then again, you can look at some of the differences between the two. Again, there's not a whole lot going on in these instances, but these are some of the com commands that you might wanna leverage to see if you're you know, running high versus another box, or you just wanna know more about that particular box itself. So pretty easy stuff. The other thing we're gonna do is a quick trace route because what I want you to uh, realize is, is that these instances, when they're trace routing between the two, for example, and they had access and the access control policy allows that to happen, they're actually going and leaving from the actual hardware device going out and back in, right? So it's not using a back or a data plane inside the hardware itself it's actually leaving and coming back in. So we'll run a quick trace route and then I'll walk you through the path that it actually took. So we just need to connect to workstation two, which is an inside zone A. And we could have did it, did it from the other side. We'll trace route to 192, or sorry, 198.19.20.36. So we're gonna come out, or we're gonna start in our inside zone A, we're gonna hit FTD A and then we're gonna come in FTDB and then ultimately land on the host itself. And so essentially that's what we're doing. We're coming in and out. And that's it. Pretty easy stuff, quick way of validating. That's multi-instance and that's a wrap.